Hey, Shalom Akyam, Wa Akwath of the elect of the nation of Israel, which in these last days you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the law and the testimony of the Holy Bible. Welcome back to another lesson entitled Recompense to those who trouble Akyam Wa Akwath. In their distress Okay, Yahweh Bashmel Shai is about to recompense Two-thirds of our people Here Primarily in Babylon the Great And those besides the two-thirds That are scattered amongst the heathen Who have been uh, vexing Okay, the uh, hopeful elect During the, their time With their needs, okay, during the time Of their distress So before we go any further We give all praises to our power Yahweh Bahasham, Yahawashai, Bahasham, or Hahahakwadash, Yahawa, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world through ignorance calls God, Jehovah, or Yahweh. Yahawa means he exists, he to be, in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kwadash, Bahasham, in the name Yahawashai, who the world through ignorance calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Yahawashai means he delivers, he saves, or he is victory because through Yahushai, the elect are going to overcome the image of the beast and his mark and his number, which is uh, Chai Stai Stigma. Okay, that 666 number that you read in the book of Apocalypse, the 13th chapter. And the honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which are the men that tell me the 100% truth according to the law and the testimony. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners. The, the actual Gentiles Okay, those uh, Gentiles who Apostle Paul wrote to In his uh, 10 plus uh, epistles or letters Those are Israelite foreigners Who descend back To the seed Of the elect, okay, of the promise And here's an example of The 12 tribes of Israel You have uh, Yahawadah Praise the Most High Or thank the Most High Which is uh, Judah, okay, so-called Negroes and a Pariyam, okay, the so called Puerto Ricans, which is symbolic, okay, to the uh, northern uh, kingdom. And what you see here is the uh, 22 original characters or the uh, alphabet of the uh, ancient Hebrew from the A all the way to the Tha. And on the bottom, you see the Assyrian script, which is what we use in these last days brothers who used uh, this uh, modern day Assyrian or modern day Hebrew to identify okay, the uh, secrets and mysteries of Yahweh Bashem Shai through the Blue Letter Bible and other um, you know, uh, internet sources and the name of this lesson is Yahweh Bashem Shai is going to recompense those who trouble brothers and sisters in their distress Okay, this real quick uh, scripture. Okay, opening uh, precept, 2 Thessalonians. I'll start at uh, verse 1. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 1. It says, Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus unto the church of Thessalonians. And Yahweh our Father and the Lord Yahweh Shehamashiach. Grace unto you and peace. Yeah, and uh, something about, you know, the uh, letters of Apostle Paul. You know, we learn how to approach brothers, okay? You know, when you come to this truth, you got to always approach brothers, man, you know, with a shalom, yahweh, bash, mal, shai, always come in grace and peace, okay? Because if you don't come in grace and peace, okay, you're not coming in the, in the, in the right spirit, okay? You're coming in the spirit of uh, a contention, okay, strife, okay? And that's ultimately going to lead into a carnal debate. Okay, a, a, a carnal matter. So always make sure your brothers and sisters, whenever you approach a brother, okay, whether it's uh, you know you know in person, text, whatever, a hey, make sure it's a uh, in, in a correct manner. Okay, you know show some manners. It says grace unto you and peace. You see, so even Apostle Paul always greeted, okay, you know the the, the brothers with a shalom, okay, from Yahweh our Father and the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. We are bound to thank Yahweh always for you, brethren. Okay, that word brethren again, you know, I always bring it out. That's the Greek word of uh, Adelphos. Okay, that's where you get also the word of uh, Philadelphia. 
okay which means a uh, brotherly love and brethren means uh, an Israelite brother okay from the seed of Abraham Isaac and jo Jacob it says as it is me because that your faith and what is faith you can read that in uh, Hebrews 11 and 1 okay faith is a uh, the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen okay we have faith that we are the the true prophets okay we have faith that we are the true hebrew israelites and we have faith that esau edom is, is a so-called white man okay we have faith that we will receive spiritual power and we also have faith that yahweh bashim al is going to recompense okay uh those uh uh the people okay and i, I say the people in general as two-thirds of our people okay even the heathens okay that have uh, vexed and troubled brothers in the time of their distress it says uh brethren as it is me because that your faith groweth exceedingly you see that so your faith has to be growing okay and the only way faith can be uh okay increased is through what let me get a quick precept it's the book of romans 1 and 17 or romans 11 get that okay how can you increase your faith real quick romans 10 17 so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of yahweh which the word is yahweh shai when you read john the first chapter okay wisdom of solomon also the uh, ninth chapter okay the word of yahweh is yahweh shai Okay, which is victory because through Yahweh Shai again that's how the elect are going to be victorious okay before the uh, downfall of uh, uh, Esau's empire via those uh, nuclear weapons so back to Romans 10 17 so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High so going back to the book of 2 Thessalonians 1 and 3 we are bound to thank Yahweh always for you brethren as it is me because that your faith groweth exceedingly and the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth yeah an example of uh, the greatest uh, charity you can give to a brother or a sister is just teaching them the scriptures okay you know whether it be uh in social media you might have you know facebook uh, you know group chat you may have uh instagram okay youtube you know the highways and hedges okay or even in in person one-on-one -on -one, these are examples okay of uh showing our uh, charity okay amongst uh one another and it says so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches right and that word churches is a uh, plural it's where you get the word uh, ecclesiasticus or ecclesiastes which the word uh, uh church means an assembly a gathering of the israelites of yahweh for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations so that we again verse 4 so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of yahweh for your patience and faith see that and uh you know patience goes into long suffering man so you know when you come to this truth you got to expect you know as you grow in the faith you will uh experience okay more uh more patience and more suffering but through that that suffering that's how you're able to uh you know pretty much you know get rid of that uh that dross okay though those are uh, elements that are in the you know in, in, in your spirit okay in order for you to uh you know to be a new creature like it tells you that in romans the 12 chapter so through patience okay and long suffering which are the uh characteristics okay of the elect man that's how you're gonna grow it says and faith in all your persecutions and persecution can start at a low level you might have you know a, a a scoffer or a mocker on your on your common board okay or if you're in the highways and hedges okay, you might get a, a, a death threats okay these are examples of uh, persecution and persecution at a high level is uh an example of that is uh, our forefather uh, uh malak dawat okay or malak dawada which is uh, king david king david is one of the perfect most perfect examples okay of uh, persecution because not only was king david persecuted by his enemies okay you know the the philistines moabites and these other heathens but the greatest persecution of king david was his own people so the ones that are going to come against you know brothers and sisters are your own people man 
okay whether it's a, a again a co-worker you know your, your boss your uh, okay your, your grandma your mom your dad a hey, hey, even amongst brethren okay even amongst the brethren you might think a a, a brother was a, a so-called brother but at the end okay the spirit of satan might, might hop on him okay he might end up persecuting persecuting you okay hey, but hey that's all the lord's will that's why it says what it says for your verse four for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure so persecution and uh tribulations we must endure okay endure for the elect six okay and this truth is uh is about endurance And how Shai said that in the gospel, okay, uh, Matthew was at Matthew 24 and 13, he that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. Be saved from what? Saved from our enemies. When you link that to Lucifer's chapter, okay, and around the 69 to 78 verse, it says that the elect, okay, are going to be saved from their enemies and from those who hate them. So going back to verse, uh, that five. Says, which is manifest, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of Yahweh. Yeah, and that word token goes into the word sign. Okay, a sign or a token go hand in hand, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of Yahweh. Yeah, and the judgment of Yahweh okay, is a righteous of a sign that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of Yahweh for which ye also suffer.
okay, or, or, or a whole different nation, okay, might have been in Babylon the Great for, for well, maybe like, like 10 years, next thing you know, you end up in the UK, you see, well, that, these are examples of, uh, you know, suffering, okay, uh, you might have a fucking, uh, uh, a two-third, you know, a chain that you so-called work for, and, and he might, he might owe you, you know, a, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, man, and it tells you that in the book of Sirach, okay, you know, uh, do not deprive, you know, the, uh, the, the poor from the bread. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. Hopefully, that's not that that preaches on that. So these are just just examples of how about now shy. Okay, uh, you know, uh, uh, recompensing. And that's and that's how you say that word. Okay, those who from you. Okay, the book about the recompense. So now it says compensation, payment for a debt or obligation. Okay, whether it's uh, you know in spirit or, or in the flesh, okay, the Lord is going to recompense. This is uh, Williams 1 and 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, and that's going to happen ultimately in Jacob's trouble. Okay, when uh, you know when this economy you know collapses and that new uh, uh, reset starts happening, that that reset or the reset of the uh, was that the, uh, the digital RFID, okay, Karagma, okay, I might have to say Karagma because, you know, Esau will start using his uh, algorithms and his AI, you know, to start to uh, take this video down, but, you know, when the economy collapses and that great reset starts to emerge, man, okay, that's, you know, ultimately the, the peak of uh, Jacob's trouble. It's going to get so bad out here, man, because you know, has even, uh, you know, Christian preppers, okay, a lot of so-called, you know, Edomites who are going to
what Esau likes to call the uh, fourth dimension, man. Okay, you're gonna start seeing a lot of uh, concentrated fire landing on, okay, on, on, on people, man. Just like that movie, uh, War of the Worlds, okay, with uh, uh, Tom Cruise. Okay, that concentrated uh, fire, that symbolic to the laser, man. The, the, the laser beam, okay. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints, yeah, who are the saints? Psalm 55, Psalm 48. The saints are the Israelites, those who made a covenant with the heavenly Father, okay, in Horus. We read our Deuteronomy, uh, with that the fifth chapter, and to, and to be admired in all of them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. You see, so you gotta keep your testimony, okay, until the house shall come back. Because once your house comes back and, and you hold the truth, man, and that's already a, 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 a victory for you. You see that? So now the priest is here, this is uh, Jeremiah 23, 24. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Yeah, right, because you're going to have, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, two-thirds, you know, who are going to try to uh, hide from the wrath of the Ha'abash Shai. It says, save the Lord. Not I feel heaven and earth, say the Lord. Yeah, and this also applies ultimately to the so called white man Esau Edom. Because Esau Edom understands what he has done for the children of Israel. So he's going to start hiding them both. Okay, you're going to have these uh, international bankers okay, who are currently you know, hiding in, you know, in bunkers, uh, whether it's in Oslo or Europe, okay, here in Babylon, the Great, and even amongst the uh, Latin American tribes. You have Esau.
See, that's why you might encounter a brother. You know, he might, might have that serious face, that, that austere face. Okay. So if you see Vendry, man, he's angry at, at this uh, captivity. He don't wanna he don't wanna be here no more. Okay, he, he wants to get those uh, spiritual powers, okay, and bring down Esau Edom as an example of, of an angry brother. Now you might have brothers that are very meek, but very very mellow, okay, but deep down, man, they're also angry as well. You see, it just depends on the attributes. Because hey, they're, they're they're even vexed. Okay, it even tells you that in the book of uh, Romans, how the whole uh, creation groaning. Okay, for the uh, manifestation of the sun, for the sons of Yahweh. Hey, even the animals are angry, man. You know, you see uh, you know, videos on YouTube of you know squirrels, you know horses, donkeys, you know fighting back against Esau Edom because they are angry. They're waiting, okay, for for peace. Okay, they they want that comfort. Yeah, they want that kingdom. It says uh, verse. Uh, by right four and three, don't trouble an angry person and don't put off giving his meeting. Don't keep rejecting the plea of someone in distress and don't turn your face away from the Lord. And hey, that, that, that fits Esau to the team, man. You know, Esau has turned his face, okay, from, from the Israelites. Okay. You know, you have, you have, you have Esau now turn to, uh, you know, uh, fix his debt. Gonna want the recompense to be of blood, okay, and, and that's a, a righteous uh, judgment. Verse 5 Don't turn your eyes away from someone begging, and don't give anyone a chance or opportunity to curse you. And that's what we're doing to keep on Edom. That faith, man. Okay, um, was that, was that in the Hebrew? Okay, there's a, a person in the Hebrew. Okay, that brother sent. Or, or rather uh, Jake or Eve that's putting that extra burden on you and you can send curses upon them man. and that's righteous judgment but guess what this is the book of was that Exodus 14 and 14 the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace see that so Yahweh is going to fight all our battles man all we got to do is just hold our peace okay and
okay the, 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 the true Hebrew is like okay, primarily the prophets because we are the only ones spilling love okay, for righteousness we're the only ones spilling love okay, for the kingdom and for the name of Yahweh Shai for Yahweh White Yahweh Shai so that's why Yahweh Bash Yahweh Shai will fight for us and we will hold our peace one more example of a man of the Lord okay, who was in distress who was going through it Okay, this is our fourth part of life. This is the book of 2 Peter 2. Okay, primarily Syria and Babylon. Okay, it's also happening out there in the Holy Land, which which is our land, but it's currently being defiled by the by the heathens. Okay, Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, you know when you read the story in the Book of Genesis, you know it goes into you know uh, so Sodomites. Okay, you know it goes into uh, bestiality. You know, man on man. You know, woman on woman. A hey, man with kids. See that. It's just all upside down. So, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is giving an example of Sodom and Gomorrah. It says, And to ashes condemned them with an overthrow. And that goes back to, uh, I think that's in Malachi, where it says that Esau will build up, but Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will throw down. It says, An overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly and deliver just Lot. Yeah, because Lot was amongst, okay, those uh, Sodomites. Okay, and those are wicked spirits. It says, and deliver just Lot. And Lot, that's an example of the elect in these last days and, and in Babylon. Vexed. You see that? So Lot was vexed, just like we're vexed, with the filthy conversation of the wicked. You see that? So hey, even uh, listening to, uh, you know, wicked conversations, filthy conversations, man, that's another example of, you know, uh, putting that extra burden amongst brothers and sisters. Okay, uh, uh, topics that are vain For that righteous man Dwelling among them And seeing and hearing And aren't we doing that Okay we're seeing and hearing We're observing Just like our forefather King Solomon Which is Yahweh Shai Okay uh, during the time of the 40 year reign And he was observing He was observing the, the animals okay, He was observing the woman Okay you know various uh, attributes and behaviors You know of pretty much of, of life and hearing vexed his righteous soul yeah, yeah so you see that so lot lot had a, a righteous uh, a righteous soul okay and that's the part of the elect the elect in these last days okay they have a righteous soul okay a righteous spirit now in the flesh of course you know we're not perfect but we're perfect in one end in understanding understanding the will of Yahweh Shemal Shai it says for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing begs his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust on the day of judgment to be punished. So it is an example of love, man. So verse 8, the righteous man dwelling among them, right? We're speaking about your brothers and sisters and the hope for elect. We're dwelling. Okay, you are dwelling amongst and you're what you're hearing and seeing okay all the abominations and that's going to what vex your righteous soul from day to day because of their unlawful deeds so all you got to do is hold the peace man because how about you shy is going to recompense he's going gonna to pay back you see let me get one more precept Jacob's trouble that so the Lord can uh, you know bring down that hammer. This is Second Ezra 1611. The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? Of course, that word threaten. You know, the Lord is doing here his prophets. He's gonna, he's gonna uh, 
threaten a lot of a lot of Jakes in either. Threaten. It says men menace probing. It says cause to be vulnerable or at risk. Jeopardize pearl. Terrorize. Yeah, what is about to terrorize the terrorist? And who's a real terrorist? Esau. See, so yeah, how about now Shai is going to ter terrorize the terrorist? You know, that's another uh, uh, a lesson out there, man, another title. Yeah, how will is going to terrorize the terrorist? Frightened, scared. See that? So the Lord's going to put a very scary spirit okay, upon two thirds. Eh? That it even goes into our spiritual powers, man. Because a lot of uh, Akim who are you know, doing the work in sincerity and truth, they will receive okay, you know, the uh, the armory, okay, the, the full power, the full force of Yahweh Bash and Al-Shai. And they're going to scare the shit okay, out of two-thirds. And they need it, man. 